Happy days. <laughs> well, Francis, do you think we were lucky to have solved it? Or was it real brain work on our part? Well, I guess we were certainly lucky. And, of course, you give the impression, your Brook, Jim, we didn't really do too much thinking. But uh, we were lucky, I think, for two reasons. We, <coughs> we were thinking about the problem at the right time. And then the two of us, by collaborating, when one of us got on the wrong track, the other one could get us out of it. When if if um, I thought there were th three chains at one stage, you were sure there were two. If uh, you thought that the... Uh, phosphates had to be in the middle, then I would be the devil's advocate and say, put them on the outside. And I think this is very important in solving structures of this kind, because the difficulty is that you've got to give several logical steps, one after the other. If you get, go wrong, you get one person gets too fond of their own ideas. I think another thing that which helped us in our collaboration was we weren't at least afraid of being very candid to each other, to the point of being rude. And if you don't have constant interchange and chatting together and saying what you think of the other people's ideas to their face, I don't think you can solve problems of this kind. Uh, I've often had the thought with the, <laughs> in a slightly different way that if either of us you know, were either two years older or two years younger, at least in my case, I would have never solved it. Yes, I mean, of course. We had to be there just at that particular time. Yeah, there is a myth, of course, that goes round, you know, that Jim was the biologist and he did the biological part and I was the crystallographer and I did the crystallographic part. And that just won't stand up to critical examination because the business of the one-to-one -one thing, meaning replication, was the really thing I spotted with John Griffiths. But the way the bases went together, which is really pure crystallography, which you might have thought I was done, was done by Jim. And this is, I think, the importance of the collaboration. We sort of pooled the way we looked at things. We didn't leave it that Jim did the biology and I did the physics. We both did it together and switched roles and criticized each other. And this gave us a great advantage over the other, other people who were trying to solve it.